So I'm going to get a little bit more into the weeds here and, and we'll talk about a, a, appraisals. And uh, my question is, if you do some major renovations, let's say, for example, it's a, you know, uh, large complex and uh, you, you typically use the water to uh, ir irrigate, uh, you know, for, for your landscaping and that type of thing. And let's say you put in a, uh, an expense to put in uh, cisterns and allow for uh, rainwater to fill that. And now you're not using the water anymore and that lowers expenses. And you do some other things that typically uh, apartments in that area are not going to do. Uh, but it's still, uh, while there was a major expense at the front end, it's saving your uh, expenses over time. Are, are appraisers giving you credit for that or are they still trying, are they still generally averaging uh, those savings out throughout the comparables? Does that make sense? Are, are yeah, they it, if, if the, if the financials are seasoned for at least three months, then they will give you credit for that. Oh, nice. You, okay. you can't go in and right out of the gate, you said, Hey, I just did it. And here's what the report right. says that this guy says how much money I'm going to make or save. Um, if you can show that savings for a, on a T3, a trailing three month financials, month over month profit and loss statement on a T3, then, then you can, um, yeah, you can absolutely put that towards the value. Um, nice. and, and, and we, we do it all the time, right? Like as soon as, as soon as we renovate an apartment building, um, and we can even show a little bit of a story, right? I might not have every single unit, uh, at, $900 a month. There might be several that are seven, seven fifty that I haven't bumped up, but if I've renovated majority of the units and, and leased those up at $900 over the past three months, I can show a story of the upward trending values. They will many times give me a higher value on the $700 a month units as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anticipation of the new lease. Uh, coming yep. Up. Yep. What, what I tell all the multifamily guys that we work with is, be out there at that project when the appraiser's there. Like, oh, for sure. Yeah, it is. If you're, not, game if you're not there, you, they are, you, they're not going to understand your vision and you're not going to be able to explain everything that you want to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a great point. That, it's a really big deal. I mean, I mean, I've seen a, a difference of, you know, a, the same property appraising for $400,000 less just mm -hmm. because someone wasn't there to tell the story. We, I mean, we've had million dollar, I mean, on bigger properties, we've had million dollar swings on appraisals before. Yeah. It's, it's because they, they didn't allocate this or they didn't like, you got to kind of do the job for them, right? Like it's easier to wholesale a property. If you've already done all the due diligence, if you've done an inspection, if you can provide a, a rehab quote, if you can provide comps and you give that to somebody that you're trying to sell the property to, right? You've done all the work for them. Same thing with the appraiser, right? The appraiser doesn't want to go and do all the work. You have to give them all the information and hand it to them on a silver platter. So then they're like, oh, you know what? This guy already did that, my job for me. Let me just submit this to the bank, right? And obviously, they're going to look at everything and review it yeah, all. Sure. They're not gonna, uh, do anything. But yeah, I mean, my commercial mortgage broker, he flies to every single property whenever it gets appraised, and he's meeting with the, with the yep. appraiser, talking them through everything. Mm-hmm.